Of course, I will have to speed this video up because this is taking entirely too long. Oh, look at that. Mmm. That's cheating. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, gentlemen. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for joining us today. And if this is your first time, please hit that like and subscribe button and feel free to leave a comment and share if you find the information helpful and useful. Thank you for joining us today again. And what we have is a lineup of seven fold ties with the exception of this blue stripe one here. Now, what happened was I was in Dillard's the other day and there was actually two things that caught my eye. The first thing is Dillard's now sells great sneakers in their stores. The other thing was, is uh, I was browsing the tie table and I noticed a sign that said Daniel Cremier ties, $120 signature collection, seven fold ties. I thought, oh, interesting. It's the first time I had seen the sign there and I didn't know that they carried seven fold ties. Cool. So I browsed the ties a little, little bit and they were $120. And I got to thinking, I'm not going to pay $120 for an accessory. So let me go out and look and browse the internet and see what can be had in the way of sevenfold ties and at what price point. So I did that and turns out to get a sevenfold new tie, $120 is probably the entry level price you're going to pay for one. Fine. So what I did was I went to eBay and I picked up these three ties, this one, this one, and this one. When I was doing the research, it, it turns out to be just a couple of brands that are, I guess you could say, known for the seven-fold ties. This is one of them. This is probably the most popular brand. And this is a brand called Robert Talbot. And the other brand was this one. He's Isaiah. It's like, it looks like Isaiah without the H. So I'm just going to pronounce it Isaiah with the lack of knowing how to exactly pronounce it. We'll just call it Isaiah for now. Or Isaiah. Um, these two brands were, were seem to be uh, well known from what I could tell. Now the knock on sevenfold ties is that you can't tie certain knots with it because of how it's designed. The, the folds are overlapped. And so therefore you don't have a lot of, of room or a lot of, um, or it's too much material to tie certain knots and the tie would be, the knot would be too bulky. I haven't experienced that so far, but we'll see. We'll do a comparison with this standard tie. Now, the interesting thing is this, when I saw the ties at the store, they all had this limited edition stamp on them. I'm going to give me a new camera. I'm going to get a camera. This is not mine. Um, they all had this limited edition stamp on them. And it shows you that this is 60, number 60 of 150 produced. And I started thinking, I was like, oh, wait a minute. I have a tie like that in my closet already, which is this tie, which I purchased in 2019 on sale as I was looking for a tie to go with a suit because I had an event to go to and I hadn't bought a tie or a suit in a while. So I was out shopping. This one caught my eye because of the, this one caught my eye because of the, the, the shimmer on it. And you know, the, the blue depends on how the lights hit light hits it. The blue seems to glow. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I picked this tie up and you can see that it does have the limited edition stamp on it. So I, I unknowingly had already purchased a seven fold tie. So there we go. But one of these ties is going to be sacrificed for the purpose of this video and purpose of learning how it's constructed. So we're gonna, we're gonna break one of these open. I think it's gonna be this one that's sacrificed. But let's take a closer look. First, let's look at the standard tie. So when the tie is made, it's, uh, they take the silk fabric and usually in 
this sandwich between the silk fabric and the lining here, right? The lining is attached to the silk, so to the silk. And in between these two materials is some type of canvas or material. That's what gives the tie structure, <clears throat> excuse me. That's what gives, gives the tie structure and allows it to drape and hang nice and neat. Now the seven fold doesn't have that piece of material sandwiched between the fabric. It's actually the fabric by itself and it's just folded over on itself and that's what gives it its strength and structure as you can see now one thing I've noticed is with two of these brands the folds on the inside let's see if we can do, get this in here the folds on the inside meet up with each other they don't overlap it's different on the Robert Talbot tie On the Robert Talbot tie, it actually is folded over on itself. Okay, so this material is folded over on itself. Now the other thing is with the Robert Talbot is Talbot is this is only the material, the silk. This is the front, and this is the back, or you can say the outside and inside. It's just the material here. Whereas the other ties, they actually sewed a lining of the same material to the exterior. It's the same thing with the Daniel Cremier. Cremier. Same thing. The folds on the inside meet each other instead of folding over one another. And again, there is a lining of the same material sewn. You can see the stitching here on the edge here. You can see that it's, it's stitched. Okay, let's go a little deeper. Let's see what this sevenfold is all about. We're going to sacrifice this, this one right here. It's not a really sacrifice. I guess it can be re-sewn. We're going to take it apart here. Also have to take the label off. At least one side. Have to undo at least one side. And try to get the threads and not the fabric. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It has a an insert. Mm, that's cheating. That is cheating. Now the question would be, could you be considered a true sevenfold tie if you have to have some type of insert to have structure to your tie? So it has an insert on top of having a lining sewn on it. So here we have the Isaiah tie. And as you can see, it has a little lining in it. Like I said, that's cheating. You're not supposed to have that. And you can see it's kind of put together pretty... <laughs> I mean, I know it's folded and stuff and made to look like a tie, but it's kind of, you wouldn't expect, or maybe you can expect a tie to be coming from this sort of, unless it's small. And so what they did was they, they, they sewed the lining on both ends that's the small end and of course that's the large end and you can kind of see how the shape of the material 
and how it's folded. So um, I was saying that the, the, the cost factor um, for the tie, for a seven-fold tie, is because someone has to, by hand, I'll leave that in there, but someone has to, by hand, fold it and ensure that as they fold it and going up the smaller end, you'll be able to continue to fold until the tie takes its shape. So it's a little more labor intensive, so we can understand why the cost would be uh, more. So that is that tie. I'm gonna say that, I don't know, doesn't matter. But I do know that this tie from Robert Talbot doesn't have any lining or any canvas inside, let's see. See, we can go all the way up to here. And the only thing that's there is the material. No lines. And you can say, you can see that it's just, you know, the inside and the outside. So if I were to purchase a seven fold tie at $120, it wouldn't, again, it would not be, this, well, I didn't purchase it at 120 so if it was this tie, uh, if I had the choice, I would not purchase these ties. Um, I would go with the Robert Talbot, who seems to be more authentically sevenfold tie. Well, that's it. We uh, we looked at the seven-fold tie, and, you know, if you want to go out and purchase one, then you kind of know what to look for, I hope. Yeah, you try to look for one that doesn't have this in it. Maybe you can talk to the salesperson, and they can give you in detail how the, how the tie is actually created. Okay, guys, I could not resist. <laughs> I had to break open the Daniel Creamer tie to find out if they were using a lining as well or using a canvas or whatever material as well and turns out they do now theirs is like a felt material on one side but you can see on the other so i would say $120 for a seven-fold tie from uh, Daniel Cremier and Dillard's is not truly a seven-fold tie. All it is is seven folds around a piece of canvas, as opposed to the Robert Talbot, Talbot which is indeed authentically seven-fold, and the folding of the tie has created the drape and the structure of the tie so the winner of these tie brands goes to robert talbot be my recommendation if you can purchase a seven fold tie then it should be if you want to purchase a seven fold tie then make sure it is robert talbot all right thanks again and we'll see you on the next one guys peace